Welcome back to Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by championnews.net. This is Carol Parisi. Our founder, Jack Roser, and myself have Eric Odom and Norval Rose. And Eric, before the break, we were talking a little bit about Illinois, and you were talking about the Madigans. And what do you think the biggest problem Illinois has financially? Where do you start? <laughs> I think taxes are certainly a big part of it. Um, Why do you think our taxes are so high? Well, when you have virtually every neighboring state putting up, you know, road signs welcoming businesses into their states, you've got a problem. Um, I don't know where we are on the competitive list, but I think we're probably pretty low um, in terms of business competition. You look at a state like Texas where they're eliminating ta uh, taxes and making it easier for businesses to move in, and they're flourishing. Um, the employment rate is down, and you look at Illinois, and you've got the employment rate skyrocketing, and it gets worse every time they raise taxes. There's a, 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 you, you've you've short-circuited the connection. I don't agree with you at all. I think you're being real dumb here. You're a smart guy. Now, let me set you back. <laughs> it's a good thing he's on the other end of the table. <laughs> let, me, let me get you back on it. Uh, the assessor is, is the guy everybody blames for raising their taxes. How wrong are you? Uh, the assessor is merely in charge of the manure spreader. The manure spreader comes in with all of this dung on it, and what's his job? To spread it evenly over the population according to some rules. Mm -hmm. He has nothing to do with how much manure grows on the spreader. The guys that put the manure on there are the guys that spend the money. So the evil in all of this is the crazy spending mm -hmm. that our guys are doing that are supposed to be getting us good value for the buck. You're talking about our lawmakers in Springfield. Yeah, okay. uh, they're <laughs> lousy spenders of our money. Well, they're big spenders. They get almost nothing. Well, look at education. I'll take you in a Catholic school in Chicago, uh, teaching all black kids. Been there 80 years doing that. Doing a great Saint job. Elizabeth they take all school. comers. They throw throw nobody out. And their cost is is um, a little bit over four thousand dollars a year. And they do a good job in those kids. All black kids, bad neighborhood. So you go to the general schools in Chicago. And uh, they spend plus, it, and that, this doesn't include the lousy pensions, uh, but uh, without the pensions in them, they're spending $16,000 a year per kid. That's well over $300,000 per classroom. That's well over four times what a successful little school, all black in a bad neighborhood, is doing a good job. Four times as much money and a terrible job. What's the now, graduation rate of St. Elizabeth's? Huh? Graduation rate. Well, with with, with St. Elizabeth's, it, uh, they graduate pr practically all of them. So let's say it's 98% versus Chicago Public Schools, yeah. which and is... And these kids go on and they graduate from, from public or otherwise high schools and go on to colleges or business. They are the leaders in the city of Chicago. Are these? Uh, it's all black. And uh, these kids uh, learn a lot. Go in and I'll take you in that school. I'll show you shining little black eyes of kids that are interested in learning something in a crummy old school that's got no graffiti, no drugs, none of the bad stuff there. The gangs even protect those kids coming in to and from the school. You don't want to fool around with those kids because they're getting a break and the gang kids know it. Well, unfortunately, I think the system doesn't want smart people. <laughs> people that can think for themselves they are dangerous. They don't want smart people. Why should the public schools no, wait minute, educate and graduate I'm, I'm kids? I'm not sure they know what they want. They're just doing what comes easy to Could them, be. is to grab the dough and run. Could be. And it, you, you couldn't be this bad at teaching people. The, the whole K-12 system, the entire state of Illinois, is the worst run organization in the whole state. Could you be that bad accidentally? Not easy. Well, that's why no. I think it's on purpose. Well, it, it's uh, because they're going after what is good for them, and that is you've got a, a, a crazy union that wants all of the money there is and all of the power, because take it, the K-12 system isn't run by that stuffed shirt that you got for a, yeah. <clears throat> a superintendent. Those stuffed shirts, they're there nothing but to fool you into thinking the schools are any good and to pass the next referendum. They aren't worth their $200,000 salary, and don't be fooled by them. They're a bunch of grinning fools. And the whole system runs with idiots like that, that have got a little place carved out for themselves, and there's nobody carving out a place for the kids and the parents. Government never wants to solve a problem, because if they did, 
They wouldn't be necessary. They wouldn't be necessary. Be there wouldn't life. be bureaucrats with lifelong jobs. There wouldn't be pensions out the whatever. They want to perpetuate problems. That's why Obama is a professional agitator. You got to keep it stirred up. If the water has ever got calm, we might get back on course. But when you got it stirred up, the ship of state is headed for the rocks, and only I, the captain, Captain Queeg, the crazy captain, can get us back on course. That's the chaos. biggest con Create man this, this nation has ever seen. Mm -hmm. He's a con man. He's selling us something that isn't good for us. It's going to have a horrible ending. These poor kids that are voting for him, boy, are they going to pay the bill for all the money spent. And, uh, well, he's they, the Pied Piper. He, yeah. You know, whatever we want to call him. Pied Piper. Uh, he's you know, he's the, taking the lemmings over the cliff. He's the old medicine yeah. man. He's the guy that used to sell patent medicines out of the back of the buggy. Well, you talk about the spending in Illinois. He's replicating that model mm -hmm. in Washington, D.C. That so is what's moving frightening. Moving it to a 50-state scenario. That is know. what's frightening. And mm. if people can't clearly see what train wreck Illinois is in because of that kind of spending, and look at that on a national level, um, I think our pensions are the biggest problem we face mm -hmm. here because they're unsustainable and that gives us an opportunity for you to explore the Illinois pension scam book. You can get it online at championnews.net or Amazon. And um, I want to talk more, Eric, I want to hear more from you and Norville about what you're doing and how, what kind of solutions you guys are bringing forward. We're going to talk to them when we come back after the break. Stay with us.